This is the remote for the Meepo. And this is the remote for the onboard. This is the Meepo 1.5. This is the onboard W1A. So let's turn this on. To turn on the remote on the Meepo, you just hold down this button at the bottom. And then it's on. And let's turn on the onboard also. To turn on the onboard, you just hold this button on the side. And then it vibrates. And now it's turned on. Let's compare the throw. Let's look at the Meepo first. I'm going to go straight to full throttle. Let's look at the onboard. Once again, I'm going to go straight to full throttle. Okay, let's look at the Meepo again. I'm going to move up the lever very slowly. So you can actually control how fast you want to go. It's just the, the throw on the remote is much smaller. But once you're used to it, it's actually pretty easy to control. Okay, let's look at the onboard now. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to accelerate really slowly. I'm going to gradually go faster. Now I'm going to brake. So on the Meepo remote, to go into reverse, there's this button on the side. It's kind of sunken in. So it's, it's flush for the body. You can't really accidentally push it. You have to kind of stick your nail in there. On the own board, to go into reverse, you use this. Now, when I receive the own board, up is actually reverse and down is actually forward. But I've just, I just switched the cables around. So now, so now up is forward and down is reverse. So if your own board has the same issue where up is reverse and down is forward, all you have to do is just, just switch the cables around. Back to the Meepo remote. There are three different speed modes. When switched to the bottom, it's at the fastest mode. When you switch it to the top, this is the slowest mode. On the own board, you change the, uh, change the speed here. You just press it once and you have to be stopped. If you're in the middle of riding, You can't, you can't change this when you're riding. You have to come to a full stop. And now you can change this. Again, when you're riding, you can't change the speed. But when you stop, you can change the speed. So a lot of people say this wheel remote is a lot better. And I guess it is uh, overall. Overall, I would say it is better. Like, if I want to go medium speed, I, I know to push up a little bit. But it's kind of the same. I mean, it's kind of the same on this remote. You just have to be more careful with it. See, this is middle. This is medium speed right now. Here's full speed. And here is very slow. And I can still gradually speed up. 
but the throw is just smaller. It, it's harder to go slow with the Meepo remote. If you're new to Meepo or, or any board that uses this remote, it's easy to accidentally go to full speed. On the own board, it's harder to accidentally go to full speed because you have to, you have to push this up a lot more. Not a lot more, a little bit more, but but it's, it is easier to control. But I think once you're used to the Meepo remote, it's not that difficult to use really. Here's the battery indicator on the Meepo remote. So it's kind of it's kind of difficult to see, but you see these two red dots. So when the battery's full, there's there's three red dots, and then it goes down to two red dots, and then it goes down to one red dot, and then and then does it start blinking? I, I kind of forget. <laughs> it's been a while. On the onboard remote, you need to push the power button once, and then it lights up. So. You can see that right now it's two solid lights and one blinking light. So full power would be four solid lights. And then it goes down to three solid lights and one blinking light. Then after that, it goes down to three solid lights. And then it goes down to two solid lights and one blinking light and so on. So the onboard remote gives you a much better uh, idea of how much power you have left. But, but, but this is really annoying. Every time you want to check the power, you have to push the push this button. And then once you push the button, the power indicator lights only light up for a couple of seconds. I find that extremely annoying. Another annoying thing is when you push the button, your finger is blocking the view of the power indicator. So in actual usage, I find it kind of difficult to look at how much power is left while I'm writing because first of all, it's kind of difficult to feel for the button because the button is flush with the remote. So normally I need to look for the button. I need to look down at the remote and okay, once I find the button, I need to push it. But when I push it, my finger is in the way, so I can't actually see how much power is left. So I need to push it, move my finger away. It's not a big deal, but it's just like, it's just something you need to keep in mind. And once you push the button, you need to look at the power indicator right away. I mean, you, you need to keep your eye on it because if you look away and then you look back, the, the light is off already. But you know, it's just, it's just one of those quirks that you need to get used to. I don't know why they don't just leave these lights on. Let's put them side by side so you get a size comparison. As for which one is easier to hold, I think that's really subjective. So the Meepo, I mean, yeah, the Meepo remote is shorter, but you can stick your finger in here. So, you know, you can just I don't know, I, I don't have any trouble holding it. And now the onboard remote, it is longer. I guess it's mildly better to hold, but you know, it's like, it's like such a minor difference that I, I, I really don't care about it. I don't care about the size at all. It's just, I mean, this is, this to me is not an issue at all. The onboard remote, it vibrates. It seems to vibrate for all sorts of situations, like when your battery power goes from four lights to three lights and a blinking light, it vibrates once. When it goes from three lights and a blinking light to three solid lights, it vibrates once also. So it vibrates for everything. So I don't know, you, you're never really sure why it's vibrating. So I, I kind of just ignore the vibration, but I don't know, I guess the vibration is nice. I don't really, on the Meepo remote, th this doesn't vibrate at all, but I, really don't care <laughs> okay i think that's everything if i missed anything let me know